everyone, this is Tom from Vermibag. Now last week when I made up the bedding uh, for the video for the vermicomposting series, I told you I was going to make up a batch of the bedding that a lot of manufacturers recommend that you do. It's a real simple, uh, just mix in a little bit of coconut coir with some shredded paper, maybe a little shredded cardboard. That's all there is to it. I mean, they include a lot of times a little bit of coconut coir in the package with you. And if you watch a lot of the videos out there on YouTube and see some of the bins that people have, this is the type of bedding they have. You can see these big strips of newspaper. It's really, the majority of it seems like it's newspaper and there might be a little bit of coating on it and some shredded cardboard. So I made up some of that bedding and then I have the bedding that we made uh, during that video. So what I did is I placed it in this container. And I put half of the bedding, or half of this container is full of the bedding that a lot of the manufacturers recommend. A very simple bedding, coconut coir, shredded newspaper, shredded cardboard. And I mixed it up a little bit. And on the other half, I went ahead and placed the bedding that I made. And then I took probably a quarter of a pound or so of worms, mixed worms, different types, uh, uh, red wigglers, and African night crawlers, and European night crawlers, and I placed it right down the middle. Now this has been sitting for a week. So now we're going to go through and we're going to look at both sides and just see where the worms went. I mean, what do they prefer? So let's set this up and take a look at it. Okay, here's the container. And I had a little bit of plastic bubble wrap and uh, things on top of this. And it's been sitting for a week and I haven't touched it. So you can see over on this side, this is the shredded newspaper side. And it's up to about right here I suppose. So from this area over is what a lot of manufacturers recommend. It's just a mixture of coconut coir, shredded cardboard, corrugated cardboard, big strips of newspaper. It was all wetted down and mixed together. And the side from here over is the bedding that we made during the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this section here first over here and see how many worms we can find over in this section of this bedding. I'm going to place this stuff just in this tub over on the left hand side or the right hand side here. It's nice and moist. Uh, there's no reason why the worms wouldn't be in here. It's not dripping wet by any means, but uh, definitely moist. I mean, so far I don't see any worms at all over here. No sign of life. I mean, this bedding looks nice when you look at this side here. I mean, if I grab a hold of this, I mean, that, that looks like nice bedding, really. I mean, Maybe it's deceiving, uh, because it definitely doesn't seem like the worms like it very much. It looks good, but I guess it tastes terrible. I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, I don't see anything. The very bottom of it here is just, oh, there's one worm right there. Right at the very bottom in the pure coconut coir. There's one worm, and I think I see another one right there. Yes, there's one more worm. These are right at the bottom along the corners. So we found two worms. Let's see if we find some more in the corners down on this other side. Nothing. Nope. I mean, there are basically no worms at all over in this coconut coir, shredded newspaper, 
shredded cardboard area. So now they could survive in it all right. No issues, I'm sure. Okay, now we're starting to get into the right on the borderline. Here's another worm here. But uh, we're right here where this uh, bedding is going to start. So I can see, well, yeah, if I grab it, you can see all the shredded uh, paper right here. So basically, you know, we found two worms over on the other side, and that's it. On this half here that we did the manufacturer's recommendation on some of this. So let's take a look at the side that, uh, the bedding that we made. Okay, let's go ahead and go through this other side for the bedding we made in the video last week. One worm. Another worm there. There's a worm there. And another one or two worms right there. Yeah, they're kind of evenly dispersed, it looks like, through this bedding. I mean, I see occasional one here and there. There's another one right there. I'll just throw this in here. There's one right there. You can see here, here's another one right here. And there's a whole horde of them here in the center of this, right here. This section here. There's one, two, three. There's another one right there. Yeah, I mean they're they're all over this material. They're spread throughout it completely. I don't know if I'll go all the way through it here even or completely, but yeah, you can see another one there. Another one there. Another one there. There's one there. There's a couple there. Well, three or four of them. <laughs> They're hanging out in that corner. So. Yeah, a whole bunch of them here. Bunches and bunches of them. So, you know, you can draw your own conclusion from that, but, you know, when I place bedding on half of a container that, uh, you know, is what a manufacturer recommends or, you know, some people, you know, have videos showing you how to do that exact way versus doing bedding like I've showed you how to do it. And there's other people out there that are do that, you know, doing it in a similar way, but mixing uh you know, a combination of a lot of materials together to make your bedding and then letting it age just a little bit. Now this really didn't age. It'd even be better if it was aged a little bit. We pretty much put it in there within a couple days after I made it. But, you know, the half that had just the coconut coir and the shredded newspaper and cardboard on it basically had no worms. It had two. I mean, in a corner. The rest of those worms, the whole quarter of the pound of worms, was completely over on the side with the bedding uh, I made. So it kind of shows you the power of this bedding, how much the worms really like it. So if you want to, you know, supercharge your worm bin and, you know, almost guarantee your results, you know, make up some bedding like that. Uh, I'm certain you'll be successful if you use this type of bedding. So that's all for today. This is Tom. Until next time, ciao.